Okay, this is the Mr. Max. We are back after much cleaning. And I'm going to blow his coat again. And hopefully you'll be able to see that he's got some webbing and some matting. And we're going to give him a haircut. All right, it's about to become loud. Right there, you should be able to see the webbing, and that should come off when I give him a haircut. But you can also see he's got this ring of color, and that happens when their new coat comes in. I'm also guarding his face and his ears with my hand so that that blower doesn't get on his face. Good boy, Max. And he's really badly matted over here. I wish that I had caught that last week. And I was in a rush and I didn't pay attention like I should have. And then we're also going to, yeah, you're okay. I know. So that just got the dust out of his coat. Come here, bud. Have a seat. And I'm using these scissors now. I like the Fiskars scissors for this. They seem to be working a lot better than the um, child's Fiskars, like the full-size scissors. I didn't want to use full-size scissors for years because I thought they would be too big, but they seem to work really well. I'm very happy with them. And he's going to get all fractious because he doesn't want his hair cut. I know, bud. I know, it's no fair when I steal your hair, huh? I wouldn't like it if somebody stole my hair either, just to, just to be perfectly honest with you. Except you've got Maddie's right here, so we got to get rid of those. We do. It's true. Now, you can do their belly first if you want. I did Max's belly not too long ago. I'm going to have to do it again because he's all matted up, but... Um, I'm just going to get his top clip off of him while it's clean. You always want to keep the scissors at an angle to their body so you don't accidentally cut their skin. And because he's got quite a few mats here, I'm not getting super close to his body because his skin could be pulled up in those mats. And I just don't want to take a chance on cutting him. I, I don't need to be greedy with fluff. I've got enough fluff. Bunny health is more important than fiber quantity. There we go. That loosened up nice. Get your nice new coat in. And the other nice thing about keeping your scissors at an angle is that it gives them a, like about a quarter inch of fur left over. And that's pretty important, especially because it's getting cold. Um, we are almost to Thanksgiving here. And I do have a heater on, which is the motor noise that you hear. But that only keeps the water from freezing. It doesn't actually make it warm in here. Right, Mr. Max? Nice. 
to be a fuzzy bunny. Oh, goodness. That's a horrible smell, dude. I think he just pooped. I think he just stinky pooped on me. Alright, when you get to a rabbit's neck, you want to be very careful, especially if they're matted up, that you don't have any skin pulled up in that area. And you can feel where the mats are because they're more dense than the rest of the fur. And you'll see some webbing and stuff like that, um, especially around their neck. Max has really nice, tight neck skin, um, but not all rabbits do. Some rabbits will actually have very loose skin that pulls up and folds, and you have to be careful about that. And I always hate doing this side of it because I've got to go this way. I am saving up for um, clippers because I think that that will benefit both the rabbits and me. But I also don't want to break my bank on something that is a luxury, not a necessity. Right, Mr. Max? Luxury, not necessity. All right, come here where I can reach you, little bum. There we go. That is like totally shield matted. That is not good, dude. Okay, I think I'm gonna pause the video and we will come back when I have most of his coat off of him and we'll talk about how to get shield mats off of bunnies. Okay, it's only been a couple minutes and I've got the vast majority of his usable fluff off and all I'm doing right now while he's standing up is sort of sticking my fingers into his fur so that I can find where the skin is and make sure that I'm not pulling any of that skin up into his fur and I'm hoping I'm not, I'm not, I'm not blocking I'd be blocking the light but and he is not terribly happy with this. So this area right here is like way deep underneath him. And I don't want to turn my scissors like that because I don't want to clip his leg. Um, I'm just going to take little itty bitty bits. It, it's like that long. And that's usually enough to get that freed up. And then what I'm not getting on his sides and belly, I can get when I turn him on his side on the pillow which he's probably half hiding behind at this point. Let's see, that frees that up real nice. And he doesn't look super nice, but we can sort of carefully give him a nice little puppy cut here. Oh, see, that's a... There, that's, that's better. So again, I don't want to cut his hair super short because it is coming in on cold weather, but we cannot control when our bunnies decide to molt. So he molted on me and instead of molting all nice, he matted because it was raining and nasty and that's what happens, which is fine. Luckily I caught it couple days in. I wish I caught it on the first day so that we would have had more nice coat, right? But that didn't happen. See, there's this whole thing happening right here. I'm just going to take the, the fluffy bit off. Um, some rabbits will eat the fur on the table, so you want to keep the table clear. Fortunately, Max does not do a whole lot of fur eating. He will do fur scattering where he'll like dig in it. But he's pretty good about not eating it. Again, scissors angled away from his body. I've got a big chunk right there. I'll have to get that when I turn him on his side. That, oh, we're still not there. Still have that. 
Sometimes it just takes a little bit to wiggle it around. Sometimes it helps when they move around a little bit. He's got a big chunk on his butt right here. Sometimes that's easier to do when they're laying down. There's a big chunk right there on his flanks. I treated them all for mites um, as a preventative. But the hay is in a barn that other animals are free to come in. I keep it slightly covered, but the cats get into it and the chickens sit on it. And so it's not, it's not like it's sterile hay. So we do have to keep an eye out for mites and stuff like that. And again, I just poke my fingers in there and I make sure that I'm, that see right there is his skin. So I've got that much on the skin and I'm only cutting that much fluff so that I know that I'm not going to get near his skin. But I do want to take that mat off. So we can't leave that on him, that's not healthy for him. So you just work a little bit into it. It's not like you can spin this stuff anyway. Okay, so if you think you're getting close on top, which I'm sort of getting close, I got a little bit of a bunny butt thing left to do, is you just sort of give them a little bit of a scritching. And that should bring up any major, um, any major knots that are left. He's got some down here, but those are easiest to do on his side, which he's not going to like. He's got some right here, but again, easiest to do on his side. Um, so I think that I've got the major ones that I can do with him upright. And so at this point, we have to just clear the decks here. Bring the favorite bunny pillow over. Desperately needs washing. Plunk a bunny on it. Now a lot of people will do this in their laps. I think I've mentioned it before. I have some joint problems, so I have a very hard time holding a bunny in my lap. Um, and so I'm just going to do a little bit of analysis and a little bit of scritchy relaxing, and he knows what's coming, so he's like, I don't want to. But I got his neck nice and clean. I got clean between his ears here. I, and like I said, I treated them for mites. So all I'm going to do is carefully lay my bud on his side here and hopefully we're not blocking with the elbow too much. And then I'm going to take my elbow, my scissor hands elbow, and just sort of hold him with my wrist and elbow. And you can see how this pops up real nice. And again, and sometimes I don't even have to hold them, but I do have to be careful that they don't pop up on me. Because um, they will. They're like, oh, nobody's holding me down. I'll just stand up. Um, I don't force them to stay. Again, I don't want to pull up the skin. I, I'm kind of pushing down the skin with the scissors and then pulling the hair into it just a little. I Nope, you stay. And see right there, I just controlled him with my, with my forearm. Um, when you get back here, you want to be careful that they're they're, if they're intact males, that their private parts are not up in your way, and they aren't. Um, and you want to push the tail down out of your way. Sometimes the tail, when they're this matted, is going to be matted to their back. And that's no fun for any bunny. So we want to be careful when we pull that away. And I'm cutting at an angle. There's still quite a bit of a mat there, but I can't get that safely from this side. So I'm just going to get what I can safely for him and for me. So I don't want to cut me either. And then we're going to wiggle down until we can get leg and hip separated. And I'm anticipating that his feet are going to be really badly matted. Okay, Max is going to be really mad because it's usually his hop-around time. It's not his night for hop-arounds. But I've opened the door and let him out, and so he thinks it's going to be his hop-around. And it's not. But we are going to finish grooming the Mr. Max. 
And so a lot of times you're going to have hair that was folded down under, especially if they're, especially if they are molting. And so generally it takes a couple days for that to pop up. But we have not quite finished the, um, the belly. We got to do the belly, Mr. Max. You are not going to be happy about it. Hopefully I won't be blocking this with my shoulder. And it's really important for you to love on your bunny because this cannot be a bad experience. It has to be a good experience. We're just going to roll gently to the side. And you hopefully can see either in the mirror if I roll them this way. I think if I go this way, we'll be able to see. Just kind of jiggle into the side a little. Maybe, maybe. Now, I don't remember, I don't remember if in another video I talked about this. Um, all male mammals have nipples. So even if your rabbit is a male, if you are trimming their belly, you need to be mindful that they do indeed have nipples. You don't want to cut those. Look at this huge mat right on his foot. That's pretty terrible. So we're just gonna come in at an angle to his skin because we don't want to cut his skin. And he's got a big, yeah. I know, dude. Kind of a pain in the butt to have your belly done. Huh. It is. And I'm tucking his back foot underneath there so that he's not uncomfortable. They lay like this all the time, so this is not a problem. He just doesn't like it when I do it to him. But when one is a fuzzy bunny, one must sometimes put up with a little bit of grooming. There's not a hundred percent voluntary. And I'm being very careful of his claws. And I will clip his claws probably tomorrow. I won't do it tonight. He's, he's put up with quite a bit tonight. Alright. Other direction, which he is not a fan of. For some reason, he just does not want me holding. Like, he fights me right here when I'm, when I'm holding him like this. He, he does not like that. Um, but unfortunately I'm blocking your view. Hopefully you can see it in the mirror. And, I'm, and he's just really, he's really fighting me on it. Well, it's still blood. The main thing is I don't want to be wrestling him over this. Like, I don't want it to be an adversarial thing. Um, I ended up fighting him over this for a lot of years. And it didn't work out for either of us very well, so now we just take our time. There's no reason to rush it. Now sometimes some of the rabbits will turn their heads and try to groom where you've clipped. And so you have to watch out for their tongues, because obviously you don't want to clip their tongue off. Um, and that is a risk. So just be aware of that. And as I said, just take your time on things. Okay, I'm going to turn him on his back. And this is a cradle hold, which he does not like, so he may actually kick a little bit. Yeah, he's kicking and he's not. He is not happy. I do not have a happy baby bunny here. But I'm... I'm cradling him, which hopefully you can see either here or in the mirror, and I'm going to try and get the inside of his legs. He's got some mats inside his legs. No fun there. Again, you want to be very careful of where personal bits are, especially on intact males.
they tend their testicles tend to uh, move around a little bit and just don't want to clip things accidentally. You didn't get you clipped on purpose. You certainly don't want to clip you accidentally. And again, males have nipples, so you want to sort of stay up away from their chest area. Um, their nipples are in the same place as female rabbit's nipples are. You want to leave a little bit of fluff on the bottom of their legs. Trim neatly so that their feetsies look cute. Get the back of their legs. They tend to have like little um, poop deposits back there. You can bring their leg forward. They'll. I'm hoping you can see this in the mirror. Um, they tend to get, especially males, tend to get a mat on either side of their testicles. Um, so just move their testicles away gently. And that actually looks pretty good to me. You want to check their mound. And so we just move that away. If it's, you want to check and make sure it's not all red, that there's not poop stuck to it. Um, my males tend to be a lot neater than my females for some reason. My females get a lot of poop stuck to them, which is annoying. Um, He's probably going to start to kick a little bit here. He's kind of tranced. Oh, yep, there we go. He was he was a little tranced there. I don't like to to have them upside down because it's not good for them to be tranced a whole lot. Um, and then you get upset bunny. He's very not happy. Very very not happy. Injustice. Terribleness. Okay, his chest still needs to be done. Um, and that is usually easiest to do with him laying down. Make sure that that's not a mat. Oh, that's a mat. Okay. That is a mat on your tail. But still. There we go. That's better. That should feel better on a bunny. Okay, so you still have mats on your chest. I want you to lay down for me. And he's like, hell no. I done. No more lay down. No more lay down. See, a max rabbit is done. Done, done, done. And if you can, move their, move their front foot gently back. And of course, then you're going to get half their chest hair in there. But then you can pull the chest fur up and just gently... Again, you want to be very careful not to cut any skin. He's going to be really mad about that. Do not like that. That is not on the to-do list, huh? We do not like that. No, come on, bud. All right. You're bum. Do you know that? Bum, bum, bum. Do you know what a bum is? It's a butt. You're being a butt right now. Okay. Last little bits. I'm not going to get his chest tonight. He's he's pretty upset with me. So we can do that tomorrow. We got the main stuff. I use a hair pick. We got the main stuff. That's what's important. Sometimes, he'll let me cradle him like this, and if I can fluff up the uh, mat, I can clip it here without danger of cutting his skin. Sometimes I can't. This one is a big, nasty mat. The main thing is I do not want to cut his leg skin, because it's very delicate and it's hard to heal.
and he is very upset. Okay, we're done. Good boy, Max. Good boy. Say thank you, YouTube.